hi, I'm Michaela Weaver and I'm here to talk to you about when is the right time to make a change around alcohol and more specifically why now is the right time. You see, if you're anything like I was, you'll be waiting for the perfect set of circumstances, the most perfect time when everything is most beautifully in alignment before you start to try to make a change around alcohol. Maybe you've tried in the past and, and you, it didn't go so well for you. Maybe you tried to control alcohol or to stop drinking completely and maybe it didn't work. So now this time you want to get everything ready, everything perfect before you begin. The problem is that as you may well know, that perfect time and that perfect set of circumstances it never really comes that day, does it? And so we keep putting it off, putting it off until the next day comes. And one of the reasons for that is because, let's be honest, we're scared. We're scared that if we don't have it all perfect, then there'll be something about our circumstances or our situation that's gonna throw us off course and we'll fail. And doing anything with a fear of failure is, is horrible because we're already starting off on the back foot, aren't we? And yet, that's what we do. That's how we think. And so, just imagine what it would be like if we actually started to make a change when everything was really, really messy. Because life is messy. And if we try to do this when things are a bit untidy and we succeed, then we will know that no matter what life throws at us, we're starting off on our journey of controlling alcohol from a really, really good set of foundations. You see, there is nothing that we've ever done in life when we knew with 100% certainty before we actually took the journey, made the change, did what it was we wanted to do, that we would succeed. We can't do. Because we have to learn along the way. When we were tiny little toddlers, we stood up and tentatively took our first steps. We couldn't walk and we would never have learnt if we hadn't actually pulled ourselves up on that sofa and taken those first staggering, fumbling steps. We mimicked and we learnt from role models around us. We learnt from other people who had done it ahead of us. We started to talk before we could talk. We didn't utter our first words in eloquent, beautiful language. We gabbled in gibberish that nobody else could understand, except us. As we learnt, we were floundering and we learnt along the way. And so everything we've ever done starts off from a point where all we know at this point in time is what we currently know. And when it comes to alcohol and the conundrums around it, there is so much to learn. And with each step that we take along the way, once we've begun, once we've broken out of our frozen lack of awareness that we actually have a problem, and you've already done that because you're here watching this video right now. So you've already made that first step in the journey. You've already started to wake up to what's happening and that alcohol is a highly addictive substance and we get stuck in that cycle of addiction and we get held in that by fear itself. It's a very, very clever, clever process, addiction and drugs. It really is stunningly clever, but we can outwit it and we can outsmart it when we start to learn. We would have at one point started out maybe in our jobs or careers. We didn't know that we were going to be successful. And yet we took those first tentative steps anyway. You see, all of those days, if you're anything like me, I don't have a huge number of regrets, but I regret not doing this earlier. I regret not learning about alcohol and waking up and traveling that journey and that road. I regret not doing it 10 years ago. Nobody ever regrets waking up with an anxiety-ridden hangover. But the important thing is that those things are yesterday. 
Okay, you may have a hangover right now. But nevertheless, that drink was yesterday, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago. It is past. The future has yet to happen. It hasn't been written. And if you're sitting here, you know, or standing wherever you are, listening to this right now, just imagine a million different paths in front of you. You haven't selected a path yet, but you can choose right here, right now in this moment, that this is your time to begin this journey. And you only need to take one step, and that's one step away from where you were a couple of seconds ago. All we have is now, and the decisions we make right now are what's really important. You don't need to know exactly what you're going to do or how it's going to work. But the main decision is, this is going to be different. This is going to change. I'm going to promise myself that I'm going to learn some new things. You know, all kinds of stuff around alcohol, how it causes stress, how there are really no benefits, yet we believe there are. Of course we do, otherwise we wouldn't, we wouldn't take it. We wouldn't drink alcohol if we didn't think there were some benefits. But we can learn that those benefits they're not serving us well. And once we start moving along that path, we can start learning. We can discover new things. And I have to tell you, it's great. You see, I was stuck in that position of misery for a long time, where I just thought it was an absolute mountain to climb. It seemed impossible. And so I get that if that's where you are now, you might want everything to be perfect before you even start thinking of trying but it's really not impossible. Any more than when we were sat down on our hunches, haunches, when we were little babies and we saw these big grown-ups walking around around us. And we thought, somewhere in our little minds, I wanna do that, that looks good. But I don't know how. I'm not gonna sit here forever though, waiting to, for a blinding flash of inspiration. I'm just going to start pulling myself up and see what happens. And you can too. So don't wait for that perfect moment to come because the perfect moment is right now. Thank you for listening. My name is Michaela Weaver. You take care.